What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Chris P. Bacon and Madden 18. We are with the 5 and 8 Detroit Lions, and we have the Chicago Bears coming into Ford Field today. Let's get into the game. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here with Chris P. Bacon taking on like the 5 and 8 uh, Chicago Bears. They are worse than we are. Crispy's looking good to get in some of the. Whoa, what the heck, Crispy? Why did you dance in the backfield? Crispy's looking to get some good uh, yards here, hopefully today. Um, we are getting close to that 1,400 yard mark in his rookie year. Um, Stafford back to pass, he throws it out to the flats. And we pick up six yards to make third and six. Nice pass to Ebron. We're getting close to our 10th touchdown on the season, rushing. We have to get his jukes and everything up. But we did pick up the first down. A nice screen pass from Stafford to Crispy Bacon. Crispy's not getting any yards up the middle or to the outside or <laughs> no yard pickup in that one. The Green Bay has basically ran away with our division. <clears throat> Crispy's not going to see the playoffs for the first year. Nice spin, but caught from behind is Crispy Bacon. You need better yards than that, Crispy. <clears throat> Third and nine. Here they come after the quarterback. Throwing on third down. Stafford. Nice pass. Jones is going to get it down to the five and into the touchdown. Trying to get his 10th career touchdown for Crispy Bacon on the ground. Hand off to Crispy. Crispy finding a hole. Trying to spin away from the defender. Nice gain for Crispy Bacon. These are his numbers from last week's contest. 23 carries, 97 yards. Well, this is where it becomes a challenge for the offensive coordinator. He's got a bell cow at tailback right now. Number three in the league in rushing with a shot. Oh, wow. We're in number three in the league in, in rushing heart. Another handoff to Crispy. Crispy shouldn't have juked right there. So we just need an. We just need to find some running room and get up. We could be leaving, leading rookie of the year candidate. Crispy trying to get to the outside, out running. Somebody's down injured. Not sure who. Crispy popped right back up. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Chicago coming out in the nickel. Here's Stafford. I don't know where Stafford was throwing that ball. Incomplete. By Chicago, we're taking over at the one yard line. We thought it might roll into the end zone. Going to be fun. There we go. Nice hole for Crispy Bacon. Looks like a pickup about nine yards or eight yards. And grinding up a few yards there. We are eight for 32. Winding down the first quarter here. Crispy 
Nice juke. And at the end of the first quarter, we are up 10 nothing. Here with Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon, as the Lions are in possession of the football here to begin quarter number two. And they've got it here with a first down. They'll run it now out of the gun. Nice job of pushing forward. Another injury timeout. Not too sure to who. Second and three, all on the 32 yard line. They'll try the air now with Stafford. Gets it out. And they don't fall for that juke that time. But we pick up enough to get the first down. Couldn't get anywhere. Nowhere, losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. That's gonna go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Every year I go to the combine to marvel at the speeds that linebackers are running nowadays. They run like DBs, and let's face it, they know how to finish plays too. Eyes up, head up, run right through. Oh, come on, we gotta. The juke's not working. The run's not working really well. Come on, Bafford, we can't do that. Bears don't get anything, but we get first and ten from the five-yard line. Why are we pulling Crispy off the field? Here. Outside to Crispy. We're gonna try it anyways. Now they'll run it on the toss. No gain on the play that time, so a big stop, and it's gonna leave them with a fourth and goal. They're bring, they're playing the run, but we're gonna smash it in there. Try to. Oh, nice stop. We should have just kicked the field goal to put put us up by two. The Bears failed to score after our going for fourth and goal. We get the ball in the 32-yard line. Add off to Bacon. And really not much room out there. Three minutes left in the half. Now they'll run it on the toss. And he'll get two, maybe three, up near the 37. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock, you control the ball. And that way, you often control the game. Now it's Stafford off the bootleg. Nice pass to Ebron. Picking up the first down. Two minute warning. We're up 10 0. Just not finding any room right now. Two yards on the carry there, it'll be second. 
First, he looks like he came out for a play. It's third down. Ooh, almost picked off. So we're taking over the ball at the 11 yard line. Another turnover by uh, Chicago. Really no room to run on that one either. But we pick up two. Stretch it out. And the block does not hold. Our offensive line cannot hold blocks for us. I have no idea why Stafford threw the ball like that. Uh, contemplating getting Crispy out of... Out of... Um, uh Detroit after this season. So we're leaning on Crispy a lot because it's kind of working. And Stafford's thrown a lot of interceptions this year. And so Luka Mar is playing in Chicago. Off the block. Just be almost over 100 yards. Gonna try just to throw the ball on third down if we have to. Like now. Nice pass on third down. I don't want to give them any any ways to get back in this game. That's why we're running so much. And of course we get caught on our defender. Nice pickup, making it third and one. Calling an eight-yard gain, much better shape now on third and just a yard. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Oh, I didn't realize Crispy had five fumbles this season. Oh wow, nice, no block there. He doesn't even let us get off our block. And we've been working on catching. I don't understand why the coach, we're up 16 to 3, and the coach, all he wants to do is throw the ball. Yeah, we really don't want that. 
also want to still kind of be in attack mode too, right? So how do you do that and not come back on your heels? Uh, think about all the practices we've watched where they have that tempo period to go over things just like this, where they describe the scenario, tell you what they're looking for. Ah, why does this one always just throw the ball? We're up by 13. They're putting like eight in the box too. Wow, that was interesting. He didn't even. He's able to rattle off six on the carry, and that'll get him to third and four. Like how that didn't even have hands on. It. Searches for one more stop here after the run on second down. From the gun on third down, Stafford. Nice. Getting it down to the six. Keep that ball running. No. He's let this guy be able to block. And he'll give it here to his running back. <coughs> and they'll get him down here at about the <sighs> No blocking. It's a gain of a yard and it'll set up second and goal. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. This might be okay. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. It's nope, no blocking. situation when you're up in the fourth quarter they're gonna have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball made it very difficult right there now they need to repeat that effort yeah bring seven eight nine whatever it's gonna take to slow them down under four to play now clock running third down they'll run it now out of the gun and the hole closes quickly here he can fight only to about the four you gotta get his acceleration up we missed another field goal or we went on it fourth and down with with taken off the field and now they walk down and score and we're only up by six time out by chicago The offensive line is bad. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Now Stafford. Ebron with it over the middle. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. And now we're going to get a timeout here called by the defense. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. If we could have just broke that to the outside, he would have been gone. It's a six yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call time now. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. Just a gain of a yard there, and now it'll be third down. Charles, why didn't they just take the knee there? You're asking the question that I'm asking as well because we've seen a lot of football where coaches decide maybe they get a little greedy. I don't know if they're doing it for stats or for what reason. We've seen it happen in college and it's in the NFL. The miracle of the Meadowlands. All they had to do was take a knee and the game was over. No, I don't truly really trust Stafford taking a knee. So we're going to do two games in this episode, ladies and gentlemen. Come to week 16 in Cincinnati where we take on the Bengals. Probably two games left of Crispy Bacon being in Detroit. We're going to probably ask for a release. It seems like he gets sucked into into um the line
Matthew Bauer's ability to catch the ball out of the backfield, yet he's still the primary target for Matthew Stafford on just about any passing situation. So he fought off the tackle, and that effort gives him the first before he's brought down. A good gain of 14 there. To and we're still like, like last game, searching for Crispy's 10th touchdown. That was a nice pickup. Nice 11-yard pickup for Bacon. That's his longest run of the first quarter. And Charles, we talked before the game about them needing to establish the run game. They'll be looking for more of that. And they got to the perimeter. So that tells me that that's part of the game plan of what they want to get done today. So they'll have some complimentary runs where he'll run it to the inside. But it appears that when they want the big yardage, they think they can get to the outside and make it happen. And they still need eight yards for the first here on second down. Now Stafford. Can't get over the block. Play action wouldn't work there. And Detroit getting set to go now. And partner, I'm going to make a quick pivot here and ask you to play general manager. It's well documented. They're last in the league in offense. Number 32. What changes might they make? And this is where you have to be almost like a chess master as a general manager. Because you have yeah, about 11 yard pickup. Obviously the draft. Free agency. Maybe you can make some trades. But also look at your practice squad. Have you been grooming players to promote and give them an opportunity to play as well? And those D tackles, you like that they're trying to run the football here against your 4 3, don't you? Yeah, because they tend to eat things up because they are so Come strong on. and physical, and especially when they play with leverage where they get lower than the offense. Get people out that, that can block, please. I about the good defensive tackles. They can play over the guards, they can slide and play over the center. Nobody in the offense likes that day when they have to deal with those guys. On third down, Stafford. The completion good. This is Eric Ebron. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. And how about this one now? In their own territory, a gutsy call. They're going to go for this. On We're out of playoff game. position, so might as well try it. And of course, our offensive line cannot block for our running back. Cincinnati scores on that last possession. And Bacon bounces it to the outside. Trying to outrun the defender and in for his 10th touchdown of the season. Cincinnati goes down and scores another touchdown to take a 14 to 10 lead back out on offense and our offensive line didn't block Stafford, what are you doing? Okay, he at least got it to somebody. No, he didn't get it to somebody. I love it as the guy keeps running. They say he goes after his. They react to the football really well. That's fun. 
Let's give a little credit there. The offensive play caller sends that the screen pass was available. Whenever you're getting a lot of heavy pressure towards your quarterback, that's when you're thinking about running the screen and using that pressure against the defense. They worked very well there for a first down. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Partner, I think from our experience together, we have learned that most offensive coordinators are going to tell you if I'm going to run the football. And Crispy getting some room again and in for the touchdown. Back out after I believe a punt. Lions take over first and ten from the 37. Green pass set up and couldn't get away from the defenders on that one, but we did get some good yards. Makes it third and seven. Containing this guy all game long, but maybe they can build a little bit off of that play, a little bit of confidence, a little bit of in a heavy trial. No night game tonight on Christmas Eve, but we make that up with two games under your tree tomorrow. Oh, that's nice. I'm just reading the card. I gotta give props to our writer. I have no idea what happened there, but we did get some yards in front. I got. I still haven't figured out how to turn the guy around. If somebody knows, please let that me know in the comments. How do I get out there, turn, and be ready for the setup for the catch? By the way, they went down and scored three. If you haven't noticed, and Stafford overthrows us, bringing up a punt. Left in the half. Still tied at 17. And have no clue where Stafford was throwing that one. Yeah, at halftime, tied at seven. See you at third quarter. First possession of the third quarter, seven minutes left in the third quarter. We're tied at 17. Cincinnati had the ball first, and when they went three and out, nice pickup for Crispy Bacon. 166 yards today. Second and two, ball on the 49-yard line. Nice first down throw by Stafford. First and ten, ball on the 44. Nice pickup by, almost said Smokey. But it's Crispy. 14 yard pickup. Crispy's having a great day against this defense. We just want to keep the clock running because if we can move the ball on the ground, it's just supposed to be set up, but it's not. We tried to, I thought we saw a hole and clock didn't hold. Come on, 60. You got to get us the block, man. You got to get us the block. Let's 
Let's keep Crispy in the block. What happened on fourth and inches, but Cincinnati drove the ball down and scored a touchdown, I believe. We scored a field goal, Cincinnati scored a touchdown. That's what happened after we scored our field goal. About a minute left in the third quarter. We are losing by four. Hand off to Crispy. Crispy trying to find a hole. The hole closes. Only picks up a couple yards. Third and eight. Coach calling a screenplay now. No blocks in front of him to help him out. Fourth and six. Yeah, pretty much. We need a miracle. And we made it, you know, reasonable. I mean, we lose the game. 34-27 just means only one more game in Detroit. Next episode, when we come back, we will be going up against Green Bay at Four Field for Crispy Bacon's last game and a Detroit Lions. Then we'll run through the playoffs and demand the release, see where we get contract offers for in free agency, and probably end that episode there. And then you guys can let me know where you think Crispy should go. All right, I'll talk to you guys then. Have a great day.